Welcome to another session in Math Mike. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's video, we'll be talking about measure of position in decile. Decile are values divided a rank set of data into 10 equal subgroups. Based on the presentation, we'll start with 0% ends in 10%. So the distribution would be 10%. Decile have the same format in calculating the positions with percentile. They have on different in its divisor. So you will be observing the formula of decile which is the same with the percentile, but the divisor that we applied in the measure of position formula are different because in percentile, we'll be using 100 and in decile, we will be using 10. Let's have an example of decile under ungrouped data and group data. Before we proceed with the items, so the rulings in ungrouped data and group data are the same in percentile. Now, if you observe for ungrouped data, we will first arrange the data into ascending order, followed by computing the index or the specific decile. While in group data, we must have the frequency distribution table and complete the table in order to solve the specific decide. Here is an example of ungrouped data in decile. Now, if you observe based on the formula that we have in ungrouped data in decile, if you compare the formula of decile and percentile, they have the same phase, they have the same format and the positioning of K and N, but Check the divisor. If you observe the divisor, the divisor of uh, the decile is 10, while in percentile is 100. Now, first thing we'll do if we are given ungrouped data, all we need to do is arrange the item into ascending form. So we'll arrange the data from lowest to highest score or it depends what specific data is given. So if we already arrange that one into ascending form, directly we will now identify the K and N. Based on our example, we don't have a problem. So therefore, let's have, or let us try to compute the D sub 5 or the fifth decile. So if that is the problem, all we need to do is identify first the given item before going to the conclusion. Okay, now, first thing we'll do is identify the K and N. What is the value of K and what is the value of N? Now, if you observe, the K and N are always given in ungrouped data. The K on the given problem is 5 and N. All we need to do is count how many data do we have. So if you will count that one, so we have 12 as total. Then directly, if we identify now what is the value of K and N, so all we need to do is substitute that one given the formula. So therefore, substitute. So we have 5 times the quantity of 12 plus 1 all over 10. And that would be equivalent now to 5 times 13 all over 10. So we have now 65 all over 10. Then divide. So we have 6.5 term. Take note, this is the term. 
Now, same ruling that we apply in percentile, that if that is 0.5, so locate where is the 6.5 in our data. So this is the first, this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So therefore, 6.5 is between the term 6 and 7 term. So all you need to do is add the two data and divide it by 2. So therefore, we can now identify the fifth decile of the given problem, which is equivalent to 23.5. So the decile 5 now or the fifth decile is equivalent to 23.5. So therefore, we can place now a basic interpretation or conclusion of the answer. Therefore, the fifth decile is 23.5. So this implies. Okay, this implies that fifth decile is 50% of the data. Okay, so 50% of the data is less than 23.5 and that's it so we already now identify the d sub 5 or the decile or the fifth decile given ungrouped data now let's proceed what if the problem is a group. in group data which is the same format with the percentile but again the difference is the divisor that we use in the measure of position formula so we have here the lower boundary plus the interval all over the frequency times the quantity of the formula of the measure of position minus the below cumulative frequency now first thing we'll do if the problem is a group data we must complete the table, which is the frequency distribution table, included the class boundary and cumulative frequency. Always take note in identifying the class boundary to identify the lower limit and upper limit of the frequency distribution table. Now, based on our given table here, this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. Directly, we will get, uh, we will subtract 0.5 to the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit and place that one to the up lower boundary and upper boundary, respectively. Okay, so we will be subtracting now 0.5 to 71 results to 70.5. And add 0.5 to 75.5, and the result must be placed on the upper boundary. So you'll be doing the process the same with the other class interval. So we'll be having 75.5 to 80.5. We have 80.5 to 85.5. We have 85.5. To 90.5. We have 90.5 to 95.5. Then 95.5 to 100.5. Now, if you already identify now the class boundary, directly we can proceed now to the next column, which is the cumulative frequency. Now, there is a crucial part for identifying which 
are we going to use? Always take note that identifying the value of or starting uh, to compute the cumulative frequency is to identify the lowest class interval. Now, based on the given item here or the table here, this is the highest class interval and this is the lowest class interval. Always take note that we will start with the lowest class interval frequency. Now, we already identify now the lowest class interval, then proceed to its frequency. Okay, the first number directly, we will place that one as our cumulative frequency value, followed by 3 plus 5 is equivalent to 8. And the result must be placed on the cumulative frequency table. Next. 8 plus 12 results to 20. So the solution is the same to the other uh, cumulative frequencies. So 20 plus 12 is 32. 32 plus 5 is 37. And 37 plus 3 is equivalent to 40. And directly we have now the cumulative frequency. Always take note that we will first check the lowest class interval. If we already identify the boundaries and also the cumulative frequency, directly we can proceed now in solving the value of the fifth decile. So what is the fifth decile? Now, Upon going to the uh, solution of the decile under group data, start first with the formula of the measure of position, which is the Kn over 10. Because this will identify us the group where the fifth decile belong on the frequency distribution table. Now, let's start by identifying the K and n. So what is the k and what is the n on the given problem? Now always check the, the word problem because uh, you will see observe the value of k and n. Now based on the word problem there, we have 5 as our k and n. Based on the word problem, we don't have the total number of data, but we can solve that one by just add all the frequency and the result is the total number of data which is equivalent to 40. Now if we already identify now just substitute okay so you already substituted the values for k and n you already have uh, the next or you can proceed now to the next solution which is by multiplying so we have 200 all over 10 and divide that one results to 20th term where is the 20th term on the given problem okay so first thing we will do is identify so we already identify the mesh the position of the decile now, next thing we'll do is apply now the cumulative frequency to your uh, to your measure of position, which is the 20th term. Now, what if, take note 20, so therefore we can locate our fifth decile on this position here. Okay, so therefore the fifth decile is between 80.5 to 85.5. Now take note, what if our value is 21st term? If that is under 21st term, directly we will be using the 32 as the group. Okay, so the group now would be 86 to 90. But again, take note, our value is 20. So therefore, we'll be using that group. That was being uh, inserted by. 
So this is now our group. So if you already identify the group, we can proceed now in identifying the L, the H, and uh, the F. And also the cumulative frequency or below cumulative frequency. What is the low, lowest or uh, lower boundary? Okay, based on your group, that is 80.5. How about the interval? So all you need to do is subtract the upper boundary and lower boundary results to 5. The frequency is given, which is 12. Then below cumulative frequency, which is our cumulative frequency is 20. The below is 8. Done. So we have now all the given item. So we can directly substitute now based on the formula that is given. So we have the lower boundary, 80.5, plus our H, which is the interval, and that is 5. And our frequency is 12. Then multiply that one to the formula of the measure of position. Then we have already the value, which is the 20. Then subtract that one to below cumulative frequency, which is the 8. Then proceed now in solving. So we have 5 over 12 times 12, then 80.5 plus 60 all over 12. So we have 80.5 plus 5, then add. So the result is 85.5. So therefore, the fifth decile is 85.5. So this implies that the fifth decile is equivalent to 50%. So 50% of the score or the, the grade, okay, the grade distribution is less than 85.5. So that's it. That is how to solve group data under decile.